Hello, my gracious lovers. How are you? Well, long time no see. It's true. I was supposed to stop videos in English, but now I'm doing it just for someone very special to me. Because yeah, I'm. I am a girl who's able to have YouTube friends now. You know what I mean. So I'm supposed to make some videos for my friends. Because, just remember, I'm French. But my friend is not speaking French, you know what I mean? He's not from here. <laughs> so I'm supposed to make some videos for my friends. So if you're looking at this, okay, and you enjoy what you're seeing, you have to say thank you to my guy, Demiga, by the way, if you want to watch some cute videos, video games and jokes and laughing. He's the guy. Just in case, you know, it's for free. I mean, I'm not paid. <laughs> but it can be helpful. Like lately with what's going on in the world, we all need some laugh. We all need some fun. But okay, now we're gonna speak about the story of the day. My guy. Oh my girl, you're not ready for this, baby. Okay, let's go. Okay, I don't know if you know it, but I'm into video games and manga since I'm a child. Okay, but my parents never really liked the thing, at least when it was me, because now my brother is in it and it's okay because it's a guy, kind of. I don't understand, but anyway, I'm not trying to understand. So, I, I was in it since I was a child and I knew kind of the way my parents used to think, I mean, they were religious and for them, I don't know why, but they made a connection between mangas and the devil. Anyway, let's not try to go over there, okay? Stay with me, stay with me. We stay away from that. Come back, okay? Let's enjoy the moment. Yeah. So that was the behavior. So in my head, very fast, I realized that I had to protect my collection because I started having a lot of books, to be honest. A lot of books. But the thing is, right, I started with social, you know, books for girls, cute stories, romantic stories. And at one point, you know, you, you want some spices, you know, you want more. I mean, it's cute to see the, the small keys and the stories ending, but at one point, when you get older, I mean, you also want fighting and stuff. But if you want something romantic, just the kiss is not enough anymore. So I started reading like another level of sojo, if you see what I mean, like for young adults and mothers also. Like when you want something a little bit hotter, you know, with less clothing. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't start reading it when I was very young. I think the first one I bought, I was like 16, 17, to be honest. But let's be real. We already know how things are supposed to happen. To be honest, I wasn't really interested in real human beings at that time. Like for me, guys were maybe too scary or sometimes also a little bit stupid sometimes. So I was like, too messy. Let's focus on the books. It's more fun, you know what I mean? So I was reading those kind of things, but I bought one very special one. I don't know the title in English, but I'm gonna show you the one in French. This girl. This one. Okay. Before explaining to you the story about this, let me describe to you how I managed to protect my mangas. You know when you have the bed, you have the the mattress, the thing where you sleep directly on the bed, and then after that you have all the structure of the bed, right? To manage everything, right? So I put all my mangas between the two to be sure that nobody saw them. But the problem was I started having so much mangas that I had different level of mangas, at least three level at least three levels of mangas together. So they start falling off on the side, you know. And I was stressing out so much. I don't know why, but usually I used to put the violent and the sexual stuff one way where it wasn't possible for them to fall down. You see what I mean? But I gave what I gave one of them to a friend and I didn't have the time to put it back very far away. So I put it in the border. And then one day my brothers and my sister were playing on my bed because I had the king size bed, a very big one. Because they were always coming to sleep with me because they were younger, very young. They were like six, seven, eight. So 
it's over there and my brothers and my sister are playing on my bed you know and then it falls down on the floor and at that moment my father is coming in the room and the only one mangas who's fall in the room in the bed is this one this one but not the first one because the first one is cute nothing really no it's not true you have some stuff happening but it's not hardcore you see what i mean no it's the second not the third one and in the third one so many bad things happen like i discovered so many things about activities in the dark <laughs> with that book so he fell down and my father opened it and the thing was so hard that you could open in any win any pages you will have some stuff but he opened it on the worst part like where everything is fingers and anyway and he looks at me and he said, you see, I told you, it's the devil, blah, 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 blah. And I was really polite at the time. I was young and cute, you know. I didn't spoke, but in my head, I was kind of like, you know, I'm the one cleaning your room. And I saw some stuff who are worse than that. I'm going to be 18 very soon. I just be happy that I'm not doing anything outside. I'm just reading books. I'm just reading books and having fun and being like, ooh, this is cute, ooh, 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 ooh. Just books. I'm not doing it outside. You see, I, I was still a young doll. Nothing was touched at that time, if you see what I mean. I'm trying to be like, we never know with YouTube, but you get what I mean. Like, nothing was touched. Like, I was a young produce still in the shop. You see what I mean? Nobody bought it already, you see? Not used. Okay? So... The guy is like, yeah, it's the devil, whatever. And then he said, you have like two days to do something about it. Or if you don't do something about it, I'm going to throw it away. And then he spoke about it with my mom. And my mom was like, I'm so disappointed in you. What is this? I knew something was strange about all those books you were buying. Blah, blah, blah. The devil is going to come through you in our family because of what you're doing. Blah, blah, blah. And then my parents said, I'm not allowed to go to convention because I used to go to... A Japanese animation convention every single year and I was also doing costume I'm still doing it until now but I was also doing costume and stuff like that and they said never again at Stern because they were saying like the people who go over there are doing drugs and stuff like that for sure because if they look those kind of things for sure they're doing bad stuff on the side but you know I'm African you know when you know stuff the parents are doing or reading you can't say okay you speak about me doing this but you're doing worse and whatever I was like I close my mouth I call one of my friend but I didn't find a solution very fast so after the two days my father took all my collection and threw it away I could at least saw like save at least half of it like I took half of it but I lost like let's say 50% of my collection that day I cried so much I cried so much that was so painful to me I was like are you serious right now are you saying if I don't take all my mangas, you're gonna destroy this? I was like, that pain, my friend, that level of pain. Until now, I didn't bought all the collection I lost back. I was like, it's done, it's done. At least I know the story, whatever. But that was painful. To be honest, that was painful. But that year, because my parents said I'm not allowed to go to convention and whatever, I lied, kind of. I said I had a job babysitting for three days but that was actually during the period of <laughs> the festival and the convention so i managed to own money before that okay let me explain okay i managed to do a job for someone else before that to have money to prove that i had a job okay and then i paid my tickets to go to the convention and i was doing something like like the week before, all my costumes, I took it and I gave it to my friends with who I go always to the convention. I gave it to her. And she had all my costumes for the three days. So I had to go in the morning at six to my friend's place, change my clothing, doing my makeup, eye contact, whatever, and then take the train to go to the convention who was on the other side of the city. So at least one hour and 30 minutes with the train to go over there do whatever i have to do during the festival or whatever enjoying my day living my best life meeting cute guys and whatever and enjoying one piece songs and ah best moment of my life 
And I did that for three days, okay? So the last day, I go back to my parents' place because every night I was going back home, right? With my normal clothing, okay? No makeup, nothing. The last day, we are sitting there and you have the TV uh, news, okay? The news at night. And they make, uh, you know, they present it saying, ah, this week we had this show, whatever, people are speaking. And you know, you have the journalist speaking, blah, 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 today you have blah, 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 blah. And I see myself walking behind him, slowly. <laughs> I freaked out so much, but I was so happy because at that moment, when I saw myself in the corner, my dad and my mom turned their head to me and were judging, you see, I told you, look at the people, they look so strange with all those costumes and whatever. And my brothers and my sisters saw me. So I look at them like, if you open your mouth right now, if you open your mouth right now, you're gonna die before I die. You're gonna die before I die. So my brother and my sister started uh, watching the food and not watching the TV anymore because they didn't want to laugh or say something so that my parents don't watch the TV. And they were speaking and I wasn't answering. They were like, why do you like it anyway? Look, it's not cute, it's not na na na. And I was like, yeah. I was just letting them express whatever they wanted to express because I just wanted the thing to be over. And then when it was over, I was like, say whatever you want. I don't even give a f You know, you see what I mean? I don't give a f You see? And then, after that, I did that every single year. After, until, until I get old enough to do whatever I wanted to do. But that year, like losing already half of my collection and then people say to me I'm not able to go to go to convention and no costume and then no friends because I had also friends coming from all around France at that time uh, to see that convention because it was the biggest convention at the time so they were all like coming to Paris taking hotels and staying there whatever that was the best period ever and you want me to stay here and not enjoy my <laughs> so at that moment I knew I knew that I would love mangas forever and I, I still do even if I mean now everybody is watching anime like even my parents watch now comics movies like they watched Black Panther and stuff and I was like yeah that's the kind of thing I'm watching and reading for years so now you're watching Black Panther okay now you're watching Black Panther and they're like it's not the same I was like seriously 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 anyway that's another story but now you know how I managed to survive the moment my father saw the mangas. To be honest, when it fell down, I was like, he's gonna slap me. He's gonna destroy me or whatever. But he didn't. I think he didn't because my brothers and my sister were there. And he didn't want my brothers and my sister to ask what was in it. They didn't. But my mom, my dad, they were looking at me like so judgment, judgmental. And then I was like, I mean, I'm old enough. At least be happy I'm not doing it in real life. <laughs> and they were like, I'm like, yeah, at, at my age, you had me already, so. I said that, I said nothing. But anyway, that, that was really strange. That was really strange and hard at the same time. But I'm happy I survived that and I could at least save half of my collection. But this manga, like, seriously, the first one is not hardcore and even... Like, you don't have any message saying that it's dangerous or you have, like, sexual stuff in it for the first one. But the second one, you have a small message, very small, saying, Oh, by the way, it's for, uh, like, all the public, but small, you see? But the third one is so big, you see that from far away. But, like, when you start the collection, you don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what kind of mangas you love the most. Me, I have different type. I have different type like I don't have one favorite type I only want mangas with badass girls like if the girl is just there to be cute it's a no for me so let me know what you're watching what you're reading at the moment me I'm in a Jujutsu Kaisen team right now like you know if you know anyway I see you next week I will try to do another video in English let me know what you want me to speak about anything if you want advice in life if you want me to speak about anime again or mangas or, or anything let me know or if you want me to speak about my travel in Japan let me know let me know in the comment section below and Demiga I love you my guy see you next week may the crabs be with you babies <laughs>